Instead of seeking security and buying lots of stuff, seek your security and loving relationships with people. Our calling is really to do the mundane things and to do them well. This is a great book. Teach your children resilience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my favorite books and pieces of inspiration that help me in my journey of living an intentional life, living a life full of health and wellness so that I can live with joy and work diligently. It all is truly woven together for me and these books, these pieces of inspiration are where I turn when I feel lonely and isolated because I, I do feel like Living this way, you're walking the opposite way of the culture, which is telling you to buy more, have more, you know, want what they have. And also like when I just feel stressed and I, I just need a break and I need to be reminded of why I'm doing this and why I'm choosing to live this way. I just, I love these books. I'm reading a few of them now. I'm also gonna show you ones that I've read in the past, but this is just, this is my core inspo for you. Well, for me, but also for you. <laughs> So let's get started. I'm gonna start with a magazine, actually. This is called Eden and Vine. This is not affiliated. Actually, none of these are affiliated. You can buy them on Amazon and I'll make a few cents from that, but this is just truly coming from my heart. Eden and Vine is written by a bunch of women who are faithful homemakers, wives, who honestly, they just share their story of their ups and their downs. And, you know, with recipes, homemade biscuits, how to, plant the most beautiful garden that's flourishing every year. So many tidbits, this is the first one I've ever read and I cannot put it down. And I actually get in bed earlier because I want to read this. Like one, it's beautiful, look at all this. It's just, we have recipes, you have bakeries that they love, like stories about an afternoon walk that turned into an inspiration, tons of roses, tons of flowers, how to make your space comfortable and livable. It's just a very inspiring book in my season of life right now, as is The Life-Giving Home by Sally Clarkson. Just, if you want stories, advice, encouragement, and reasons behind why motherhood matters and why having a tidy, character-filled home matters, she's gonna tell it to you right here. This has been so inspiring for me. A few things I know aren't really realistic for my family, but I can still listen to this and be like, that's a great idea, I wanna do that. She's actually the woman that encouraged me and inspired me to affirm my children and just tell them how much I love them. You make my life brighter. I can't wait to see you in the morning. Intentional little tidbits like that. This has been such a life-giving book. Next section is minimalism, simple living. And I wanted to start with this book called Power of Place. I don't have the book because I'm actually listening to it but it's called The Power of Place by David Gothy. It's one of the best books I've read in the last two years, but it's just affirming, encouraging, and an incredible reminder that as Christians, there are people that are called to the big tasks and big callings in front of a lot of people, but the majority of us are called to be faithful in the little things to be faithful in the way we work at our marriage, to be thankful in the way we serve our community, serve our church, serve our family, and stay rooted. And just like literally stay in one spot. It was just something that I absolutely needed because it's easy, especially on my YouTube channel, to like see my success and be like, wow, I'm moving up, moving up, moving up. And to just want this and to grab on to what the culture is telling us for more and to live for more and to buy more. But it's just such a good reminder and he's so friendly and kind about it. But it's just a good reminder to, hey, our calling is really to do the mundane things and to do them well, diligently, and to enjoy the people around us while we're doing that. It's a simple message and I'm just like, yeah, I need that. I need it over and over and over again. It's just, it's great. Very nourishing. Next book is To Make Room for the Things That You Love. A very practical, simplify and minimize your home guide. She talks about laundry, she talks about dishes. She gives you like the tidbits that, you know, when you just want someone to tell you how to do it, she's a gal. It's by Melissa Michaels, great book. More of Less, 
one of my favorites. I'm probably three fourths of the way done, but it's more of like the mindset shift around simple living and minimalism. Something that I probably will have in my bedside table for a very long time. Just when I feel like I'm being tempted by the world or by success, something like that, it just keeps me grounded and reminds me like, hey, these are the things that matter. I actually flagged a page because I wanted to read this really quick. Instead of seeking security and buying lots of stuff, seek your security and loving relationships with people. Just like an easy mindset shift, so good. Instead of trying to earn acceptance by others and by owning the same stuff they have, rewrite your definition of success and what that looks like for you. Mine's waking up with energy, being able to serve joyfully all day long. That's hard, but that's my goal. I'm not saying I'm good at it, okay? I'm not. Instead of chasing contentment by always adding to your stuff, let contentment come to you by appreciating what you have and giving away what you don't need. I feel like those three bullet points summarize the whole book and it just goes into more depth about all those things. A few kids books really quick. Thoughts that make your heart sing. It's just thoughtful, beautiful, faith-based poems that are childlike and they bring so much joy, a deeper understanding for my children, but also to me, like they're just very comforting and beautiful and reassuring. Great book to just have around the breakfast table. We read it outside in the morning. You're On Your Way by Teddy Roosevelt. Fabulous book. This is one of our former presidents of the United States, but it shares his story of him as a child. He was sick, very, very frail, pale, and weak. And it just shares the story of him overcoming this. And it's not overcome this to be successful. It's just you overcome this because it's your responsibility to learn how to take care of yourself and it just shows how much his parents cared and took care of him. It's just very, very thought provoking and helpful as a parent to be reading them a story about resilience rather than trying to teach them when I'm always trying to teach them something. I'm just, this is a great book to teach your children resilience, which is one of the main lessons I'm trying to teach them. And um, these are some fun reads, some fun. This is totally family friendly in the winter time snuggle up around the fire read this book it's called the ultimate gift there's also a movie that goes along with it but it's just a story of a kid who's very spoiled he has this huge inheritance but this gentleman won't give it to him unless he learns these gifts of life these incredible important lessons that are very hard for him to understand this is actually where i got my inspiration for writing down what i'm grateful for every single morning it's such a fun read actually tate and i read this when he broke up with me and we wanted to get back together I made him read this, which is so funny, but it's just incredible. This is just a easy rom-com. You don't wanna think about anything. You had a stressful day. You wanna get in bed and just escape. I really like this one. It's clean, it's funny, it's creative, and it's, it has to do with like fun weddings. I just love that scene. And I really, really enjoyed it. Prayer books, faith-based books. I've got 31 prayers for my husband. It's pretty self-explanatory, but when I don't have the words and I don't really know what else to pray for, it's really, really helpful. It's also allowed me to be more intentional with the way I talk to him, the questions I ask him, how I can love and serve him. 52 things to pray for your kids. Again, kind of same thing. I'm so new at this. I'm learning every single day and this is written by parents who have been there and done that so it's helpful for me to read and to know what to expect and truly to know what to pray for as a young mom i don't even know what to pray for and expect so this has been very eye-opening and helpful for both me and tate this book is called side by side and my friend lana she's the woman behind girl teach me she sent this to me when i was grieving a loss in the family and it's just guidance for loving others well and walking through life with others. Great reminders and intentional living right here in a book. Something that I'll have at my bedside table too for a really long time. Okay, now onto my health books. This one, diastasis recti. I have split abs from pregnancy and it's just, I haven't even opened it yet, but I just got it in the mail. Really looking forward to this to prepare my body for my next child. I'm 5'3", pretty uncomfortable when I don't have any core holding up my baby in my belly. And then this one is called How to Heal Your Metabolism. So many people have asked me for recommendations in terms of like, where do I start in the heal your metabolism world? And this is not a diet. 
So don't look at this book and be like, oh, it's just full of, you know, restrictions, false. It's eating foods that just support your body and support your organs and help it thrive and heal and work well. It's where I got the bioavailable term of like eat foods that your body actually absorbs so that your body can use those nutrients. Great read and an incredible place to start. It's not overwhelming. It's just sparked so many like, oh, that makes sense. Oh my goodness, no wonder I was depleted when I was eating that and not eating that, you know? Just makes a lot of sense. I think I'm done, I think I did it though. Yeah, that's all. Those are all my books. I'll have more and if you enjoy videos like this, I'll share more, you know, quarterly of what I'm reading and what's inspiring me. I'll link stuff down below on Amazon if you're interested, but I just wanted to give you some tools that will support you in your journey of minimalism, intentional living, and living with wellness. So thanks for listening and happy reading. See you in the next video.